Yes, we need a code. That's the missing link. That's why I'm trying to write one. A lot of people have asked me, well, Fuller, where's the whole code? I say, there's no such thing as a whole code in anything until what? All problems are solved. So black people, since we have been denied everything that makes sense for so long, we should, to compensate for that, try to do everything that makes sense. That's the yin and yang of it. If you've been taught from birth, that you are supposed to be, that you, first of all, are genetically inferior. So therefore, you're also stupid. And you're supposed to remain stupid. I think as Dr. Kathy Hughes has said, used to use the term uh, SOS, stuck on stupid. Well, the white supremacist says, yes, if you're black, you're supposed to be stupid. You're supposed to be stupid all the time. You don't do anything that ever makes sense because you're black. And you're a black person. Every move that you make all day long and everything that you look forward to doing is going to be super stupid because you're black. Now, if we're going to have a repair job, we should take just the reverse. Everything that we do is going to be constructive. See, if we study, many black people have been in what we call prison. Uh, in the textbook that I've written, I call it greater confinement because we are born in prison. Sist- the system of white supremacy is the only government we have ever known. So that's a prison system itself. So we are treated like prisoners. We are assigned cell blocks. I mean, even the architecture where they build, where black people are, kind of follows the, the prison, what we call the greater confinement uh, pattern, uh, wire, concrete. Everything hard, no grass. In fact, some so-called prisons, what we call prisons, uh, you know, uh, Angola, uh, Alcatraz and all like that, it's got some grass growing. And some of them, because they have the prisoners, uh, take care of the lawns and whatnot. But where black people are, you know, even all over the world, what we call the mother countries and all like that, one of the first things you notice, where there's a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of mud, roads, uh, just where most of the huts are and whatnot. No grass, no well-tailored lawns of any kind, just dirt and sand, okay? Now, most prisons look like that, in particular in the old days, back when they had the gray walls. That was long before they started polishing floors and all like that and making the prisons 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 look better, which is what they have done for black people worldwide. We're still in a prison, all of us, and they have made the prison look better, all right? But we're still in prison because we can't go here and go there. We have to get permission to do everything, get permission in all nine areas of activity to do anything from the prison masters who are always white. The prison masters are white. So we act like prisoners. What do prisoners do? when they're allowed to go out in the yard and stay and mill around for a while, because that's all black people do when we get together. We always talk about black people need to get together. What do we do when we get together? We mill around, looking at each other, and then at a certain point, we don't like what we're looking at, meaning us. And then we do what? Find a reason to start an argument. That's what we do better than anything. Find a reason to start an argument. We do that. All you get do have to do is just get a bunch of us together, and we don't know what to do when we get together except just mill around like prisoners in a prison yard. That's what they do, just mill around. They ain't got no plans for nothing. So they're just walking from one wall to the other, and that's what we do. Just walk from one wall to the other, one street to the other, one yard to another, one room to another. Until we get tired of that, then we pay attention to what? Each other. And once we pay attention to each other, we find something that we don't like because we don't like ourselves. We've been trained not to by the white supremacists. So what we do is start what? Not a constructive conversation about doing anything constructive. We start some type of criticism, some type of name calling, usually in the form of some type of joke that turns out not not be a joke. And then it turns into some kind of insult of some type. And even at barbecues and all like that, next thing you know, you go from arguments to what? The logical course of an argument is what? Next, a fight. And go from a fight to what? Killing. 
And then the white supremacists already know that in their prison yard. They know that prisoners are going to get out there in the prison yard. They stay out there long enough, bumping into each other. A fight is going to start. And then if they got any kind of shank, as they call them, behind walls, any kind of weapon, they're going to use that on each other. And then the prison masters have to come in, as usual, and clean up the mess. And wherever you find black people, you find black people with young people saying what? Like when I turn on the TV every day, or if I turn it on even five years from now, or ten years from now, with the kind of situation we have always had, it's a black lady sitting there talking about, I got to get out of this neighborhood. Well, you're always talking about black people getting together. So y'all together, okay? But what do we do when we get together? Find a way to start killing each other. That's what we do. We're going to find a way because that's all we know. I mean, we run out of things to do, which is what prisoners do, run out of things to do. You don't have a plan for the future or nothing. So you turn on each other. The white supremacists know that. This is why all over the world, not just here, not just Chicago and Washington, D.C., Cleveland, Ohio, uh, uh, San Diego, California, wherever. Not just there, but everywhere you find black people. And most of them are trying to get away from each other after they spend all that time trying to get with each other. Because we don't know what to do when we get with each other, except fight. Because that's what we've been trained to do by the white supremacists, and we don't even know it. Because that's what prisoners of war do. They have low self-esteem. So they can't stand themselves, and they can't stand anybody who looks like them, looks like us. We can't stand anybody that looks like us, and we can't stand us when we look in the mirror because we don't like nothing that we see because we are not in charge of nothing. That's why, including ourselves, and we keep lying to ourselves like we are not in that position, and that is even worse insanity than being insane when you start lying to yourself about the truth. So we turn on each other in answer to the person's question. And the code says we have to learn that we are that way. So what do you do about it? Don't get with another black person unless you have something to constructive to say or do. Now, if you don't remember anything else that's said in this program, because we've been talking about the problem all this time, almost for two hours, like we do every time. But I like to talk about the code says it's about problem solving. So how do you solve that problem? Black people are always turning on each other. Every time we get together, everybody starts an argument, and the next thing you know, we do what we do best, turn on each other, go at each other full tilt, and then the white supremacists have to come in and clean up the shell cases all over the place, all right? And then we're pleading with them, please, Master, get me out of here. Get me out. i got to get straight out of Brooklyn. I got to get straight out of Compton. I got to get straight out of, straight out of what, boy? Straight out of what, gal? Straight out of where people that look like me are. Because it's hell here. Every time we get together, it's hell. Master, please send me somewhere else. Well, somewhere else like where, boy? Don't you like being with your own people? Send me where you at. Okay, you want to come where I am? Yeah, because it's safe over there. It makes more sense over there. People act like they got a little bit of sense. I want to go there. So we move there, okay? And then what do we do? I kind of miss my homies, you know? I kind of miss them. I don't know how to relate to these white folks. So what do you do? You petition and say, we need to bring some black people in here. Those are the same black people you just got through running from. Like right now, as we talk all over the world, I'm talking about all over the world now, black people. Black people are asking one question, many of them, the most educated ones. Let me out of here, away from these other black people. Which way did the white people go? I got my babies in my arms, one in each arm, and I'm getting on the first boat that looks like it ain't got a lot of leaks in it and take me across this ocean and find some white folks somewhere so that I can get my life together. Start my life all over again because it is pure hell wherever you find people that look like me. After I spent all my life trying to get with them, now I got to spend the rest of my life trying to get away from them because they are giving me hell. People that look like me. Now, either I'm telling the truth or the stuff that I read and hear and see ain't there because I'm going by what I see. And what I have always seen, 
I have never, ever seen it any different from that. Period. Now, some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the Internet that have been presented. And that uh, it, it pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks. And uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been, from what I understand, some people reported to me a plus. Because they didn't understand what I had written very well, but when they saw those cartoons that just repeated what I was saying and attaching my name to it and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because people are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever.